and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis Ego. That's right, we decided to go with the deck that we talked about yesterday uh, during the stream. We have a deck built around Unmoored Ego. All right, so this is pretty janky here. That's okay, though. Uh, we're just playing four Unmoored Ego in our main deck and just going to see if we can take uh, all the cards out of our opponent's deck or, you know, all the ones that matter. Um, will this work? Who knows? We're, we're hoping to play against a deck like Nexus or a deck like uh, the, Field of, the Field of the Dead decks um, that... You know, like just naming Field of Dead. Basically decks that don't have very many important cards. Uh, that's what we're hoping to play against. But we're going to see how how it works. Um, so we have, not only do we have our four Unmoored Egos, we're going with some Ral Storm Conduits so that we can we can have Ral in play and we go minus two and copy our next instant or sorcery so we can copy our Unmoored Egos. So we can cast two Unmoored Egos in the same turn. So our first one, you know, we get to look at look at their deck, see what to name for the other ones. Um, and we got mission briefings in here so we can surveil and, and recast on Mordigo. So we can do that. Um, and then sideboard also going with some Chandra Acolyte of Flames for like the matchups that are a little slower where we can Chandra minus two and also recast the Unmoored Egos with the Chandra also. So besides that, we have like a, a pretty, you know, pretty normal Grixis control deck where like where we're going to be playing kind of straight up. Oh, we also have the Kefnets. Where if we reveal an Unmoored Ego off of Kefnet, uh, we get to, you know, copy, make a copy and cast that Unmoored Ego there. Yeah, so we get to do that also. Um, so yeah, we get to, we're going to be playing like some straight up magic besides that, but this could, this could be kind of fun. We'll see if we annoy any opponents by just egoing out their whole deck. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's get this, let's get this jank going here. Uh, we'll take this over to the traditional constructed queue. We'll pay our thousand gold and see how it, see how it goes. Uh, the last couple of days over in these queues, I've been playing against a whole lot of control, and I think that's what we want to be playing against. Are like the control decks. So let's see. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I want to just rouse Zarek, copy on more ego. Um, not, not enough mana. Perfect. What a great looking hand. Keep, we'll ditch a watery grave. <laughs> Gotta go with some black cat luck here. And we got our, our perfect... Uh, thing we have the a perfect avatar for this deck. All right, forest. So what are we gonna ego? Forest Hinterland Harbor, probably Nissa. Nissa seems like a good card to ego. That's probably a good one. Ooh, Risen Reef. Risen Reef could be good. All right, so they have Gross Spiral. Let's. All right, they're playing Gross Spiral deck. Probably Nessa. Let's go Nessa. Oh no, it wasn't Gross Spiral. It was Brianborn Cutthroat. Oh no, it's it's Flash. No. <laughs> Where did this go wrong? All right, so our next one we're going to name Frilled Mystic, I guess. All right, so we're going to say Frilled Mystic on the next one, and then probably try to go with, like, Nightpack Ambusher. Oops. Oh no, that's not good. Now they get they have both of these frilled mystics. We're just dead. Yeah, we're just dead now. 
<laughs> yeah, we're just locked out of the game. Uh, okay, okay. I am Flash Panda. So I do every single day. Hmm. Well, I guess here we go. What? All right. So we need to draw two mana removal for next turn. We need them to draw a land, us to draw two mana removal. Nope. Uh, let's see. Wait, I have... Okay, we can't tap like that. Gotta tap this, tap this. We have Cry of the Carnarium. That we can take up and find. Cry of the Carnarium. Darn. Maybe they exile for Mystic? Have been for you. I outsmarted you eons ago. Maybe they don't attack me. Darn. I mean, we have thought erasures, Mr. Business. We have dresses in the sideboard. The side bread. Alright, so we want. Probably want duress and negate. And then we're gonna try to ego away Frilled Mystic and Night Pack Ambusher. Killing Night Pack Ambusher is tough. I don't think I want Ritual of Set. Too many times. Yeah, I mean, we could just be taking out the Unmored Egos here, honestly. Like, this is not a good Unmored Ego matchup, of course. Could be taking them out, but... Hey, Salty. Too, too many times. Hmm. Yeah, Noxious Grasp can be good. Legion's End can be good. Honestly, honestly, I should be playing the Noxious Grasp and the Legion's Ends over the Unmoored Egos, but I'm going to just play the Unmoored Egos. Tyrant's Corn certainly hits things that are important. That Brineborn Cutthroat is rough.
This was definitely the worst Simic deck for us to see. <laughs> Especially that, that opener that I, that I had last game. Mana. Yay. Can I get that Cry of the Carnarium back? Mm. So they didn't play a land. Got a lot of spells over there. Good, not another green land at least. All right, just saving this Thought Erasure to maybe be able to go Thought Erasure plus Bolas. We need another Black Source for that. Sure. Um, let's go Thought Erasure first. Protect our Unmoored Ego. Meow. All right, so Frilled Mystic or Night Pack Ambusher? Which one's the scarier one? They're both really scary. I guess Frilled Mystic. Um, say Forest. Just go for the green sources. All right, so they have Carnage Tyrant. I can't beat that card. They have Cutthroat. Two Carnage Tyrants. Whole bunch of Veil of Summers. I, I should have checked how many forests they had. I didn't check how many forests they had. Probably should check. The cool bolas will resonate throughout the multiverse.
Yeah, so they just they just cycled the Veil of Summer to see what you know, do you have more information about what they want to do there? To to so Brineborn Cutthroat no hits the bin. Interesting. But the resolve first or not resolve first doesn't matter. Like, I, no, I don't. I don't think my opponent thought the Veil of Summer protected them. I think that they were just cycling the Veil of Summer to look for green mana and wanting to have informa more information before they. Like, I don't think they did anything wrong with that Veil of Summer. I don't think they did anything wrong with that at all. I guess I can't check there. I mean, I, I just can't. I just have to do that, I suppose. No, we don't have any ways to kill tyrants. Yeah, we have unmoored. Yeah, we have unmoored ego. That's our way to kill tyrants. What? I had to stop there. Ugh. Did I? I thought I clicked that stop. Guess I guess it was too late. They could have just drawn like Veil of Summer or something there. Get another cry of the canarium in here. Get that fourth bolus back in here. Yeah, dispersal gets rid of tyrant, that's true. Alright, so maybe we need to name Carnage Tyrant with Unmored Ego.
Scatter. Nope. Negate. Sabotage. That's just plain rude. Yeah, we need to play something here for the sabotage. Gonna go with that over the Ral. I'm going with Ral next turn over Enter the God Eternals, though. So wait, so can I cast? I can't cast Sorcery's Edents and Speed still with that, right? I don't think so. Planeswalker, genius inventor? I got it all. Uh oh. This isn't over. Well, we just gotta hope that card's not a counter spell. Obviously, it is. We drew very well. All right, 0 and 1. We got a pack though. We'll crack that. Hey, a Bantu. That's awesome. We'll take it. Good pack. Yeah, no, they, they did draw well. They drew, like, that that untapped blue source to be able to let them have the Sinister Sabotage. And then, and then yeah, Ambusher, another Sabotage. That's definitely drew very well. But Temple, the Temple probably helped him, I'm assuming. Mardu. All right, let's look for our Unmorty goes. Solar Blaze and Coil. But Mardu Control.
What's Mardu Control going to have against us? Probably six mana Chandra. So if we if we find on more ego we get to No We didn't get to ego and see their deck. No. Alright, so control deck, let's get some duresses and a gate. These Chandras. Cut these things, cut these things. Cut those things. Bring in. Guess they could have war boss. We may need that. And we may need this. Just in case of war boss. We'll play some Cry of the Canariums. Just in case. <laughs> hey, Scott. Skatoria. Welcome to the channel. Our hand, our hand was really good there. You know, just turn two Thought Erasure, turn three Thought Erasure, and then Kefnet, Bolas, or, you know, Rao Bolas, like how we had there. That's about as good as we have. And then, obviously, our opponent just didn't have a, a playable hand, just five lands and a couple of removal spells, and then just drew all lands. So that was not a close game. Let's see what we got here for game number two. Maybe some egos, some lands. Awesome. So we'll start with Thought Erasure so we can see what they got going on. Get a little bit more information before we unmoor ego. Whoa, suddenly there's a Knight of the Ebon Legion. Where did that card come from? I don't know. Let's see what else they got. Uh, it's not actually going to kill that thing. These these Amorti Egos are going to be some tough names, not going to lie. <laughs> Ow. That thing's probably going to kill us. I mean, honestly, my best play here is just playing as Kanta and looking for something for this knight. I kind of cut, like, all of my removal spells besides, like, Cry the Carnarium. All right, let's do this. Let's just stay alive. Or at least try to stay alive. That's going to kill us. Hey, Telster. Not to brag, but I'm totally the Hey, these little guys are great. Definitely going to kill Chandra here, right? Hopefully. Don't kill me. Kill Chandra. Suddenly an aggro deck. What's going on here? Study. 
ready? Focus? I just want to burn stuff already. Ooh, this could be a Kalia deck. Oh, that's a good call. Demon, an demons, angels, vampires. Yeah, but this is a Kalia deck. It's a good call. No, don't attack me. Oh, come on. I need to start doing a better job of looking at these stupid auto taps. Just taps both both my blue mana. <laughs> uh, gosh, it gets me so often. Gets me so often. Do have War Boss, Doom Whisper. Oh, a lot of creatures. A lot of difficult to deal with creatures. A Soren. They have vampires. This is a vampire. Unfortunately, I think that we have to sideboard out on Mordigo here. Game three it is. All right, not control deck. Reside board. Alright, Resight Board. Gotta turn into a somewhat usable Grixis control deck. So, like, the second Ral doesn't do anything. I mean, the first Ral really doesn't do that much either. 
Do we want just three lands, a Nicol Bolas, and a Ritual of Soot? I mean, that's not a bad hand, but let's try a new one. All right, Steam Vents out of here. Uh, no, 619. I didn't make any decks for that big Monsters event thing. Oh, they have Mortify. Wait a minute. That kills my Ascanta. But at least they'd be playing Mortify they'd be playing Mortify instead of Spawn of Mayhem. Oh wait, they can't even play Spawn of Mayhem. Hmm. Uh no. Stop tapping both my black sources. Alright, we need I need to just play my lands always first. So auto tap doesn't mess up. So another Mortify and a Rampage. You ready to go toe to toe with me? My experiments are mostly successful, except for that one. So Rampage can obviously take out the Ral here, but we got to back up. The Rails aren't really doing that much anyway. They're shocking in for the Mortify, likely. You ever wonder why hurricanes don't have two eyes? All right, so I need another land for the Enter the God Eternals, but it's a sweet card with Rao, so I'm going to keep it. You know, copying, copying this is a pretty nice one. The ring of my sword is your death knell. <laughs> When a storm sea washes the dead ashore, super gross and not my fault. So that that sea vents, of course, is the fifth land, but it's not a black source. And so, like taking a fifth land that wouldn't cast Nicol Bolas Dragon God uh, isn't really worth it. So I'll just ditch it and look for a different fifth land. You know, it's it's pretty likely that we'll find another land. Because we, we do need one more black for, for Nicol Bolas Dragon God. Yeah, you would you would need like two targets to be able to to really do this or a target that doesn't die right away. Well, <laughs> Feel the fury of the tempest.
they have command the Dreadhorde? Or are they just looking at my graveyard? Hopefully they're just looking at the graveyard. Hopefully they don't actually have command the Dreadhorde. Please don't actually have command the Dreadhorde. Man, if they have Command the Dreadhorde, we're going to be losing this. Yeah, they're, they're targeting a bunch of things in there. The R means that the R is for decks that were playing in ranked. I will ready to throw down the house mark on There's plenty more where that came from. The problem is, is our we we do have them down to one, but the problem is, is our RAL is likely dead. And. Our Ral's likely dead, and our 8-8's likely dead. Like, we're we're likely dead here. Like, I'd, I'll be very surprised if we're not dead. Does it just give your creatures planes... Yeah, only your... Oh, creatures and planeswalkers have lifelink? Ugh. So Ral's gonna have lifelink too? Was unpleasant. Ow! The Good aim. Feed the straw. Okay, so they didn't didn't kill my Ral. By a parent or guardian to ride the light. It all built up to this. Can we stop drawing blue blue red lands? We can't even cast Nickel Bull's Dragon Garden. So what what I thought they were gonna do is is bring back Legion War Boss, have Legion War Boss hit Ralph for one and then copy the Mortify, Eureka. kill the token, kill the Sorry, eight eight totally and trigger Ralph twice and then kill my Ral. That's what I thought they were gonna be doing there. For every action there's a reaction, and you are not gonna like this one.
Hey, Candy Ninja. May death find you quickly. Thanks for that reset there. Sub number three. This is going to make it, yeah, so yeah, we could have killed Seraph, of course. And, um, Seraph and the Ral, and then dealt the two damage to the Soren, but then they're still at three, and it's kind of hard for me to kill them. This means, like, if we draw another Ral, it's easier to kill them. But it looks like, looks like maybe we're dead. Yeah, it looks like we're dead. Command the Dread Horde. Beating control decks forever. Yeah, the the life link from Soren there. Gain them just enough life. All right, Marty Pile got us. We're gonna run the deck back one more time. There's two matches, it's just not very many. Let's let's play the deck again. Word. Win O2. But that's not really enough for our deck. We didn't get to do any any cool Unward Ego stuff. So we gotta try a little bit more. Gotta see if we get to do some cool Unward Ego stuff. Alright, we got just all tap lands, but a, a good looking hand. Ooh. Not all tap lands now. What? But. I can't even cast on Mordigo. Because if, if I cast on Mordigo and name any of these things, they get to just draw lands. Sacred Foundry. Ah, oh, they drew a cliff top retreat. That was gonna be my next card I was gonna name. Oh no! Not all the cliff top retreats. Basically killing this Bishop of Wings so they don't get to get the the angels back, like whatever they're called, the uh... they don't get the spirits whenever their angels die. The immortal Nicobolas will be your end. No, let 
your weak minds crumble. Dang. Do not defy me. I will return one day. My intellect is without limit. All right, Kefnet, do some blocking. Sure. <laughs> My internet is, is without limits. Oh, I wish. My revenge will be painful. We'll just have that cry of the Carnarium do something. <laughs> Man, Kevin, that's awesome. should have named Clifftop Retreat. Got punished for naming naming Sacred Foundry instead of Clifftop Retreat. Clifftop Retreat definitely seems like it was the name. Hmm. I need one more mana so I can go Ral and Ego. In exchange for eternal What? Why are you exiling the angel? Come on, just exile this prison realm. I think they forgot about the prison realm. I cannot exploit. Alright, got that land. I didn't come here to not go Ral minus. And copy on more Ego. There you go. My schemes are never ending. Always nice to get out of the lab. This experiment has shocking repercussions. All right, so we're going to say Lyra Dawnbringer for the first one. No. All right, Noxious Grasps. Um, that kills a lot of things. Many of these. I don't. Crowther Cranarium doesn't seem like it's going to kill very much stuff. I guess everything else kind of kills stuff, though, for the most part. Yeah, Kefnet was awesome. Yeah, maybe we don't need Enter the God Eternals. Get what it, actually, let's get rid of one row. I have to cut Kefnet because I won the game this time. 
Yeah, they they have four resplendent angels. Yep. Where's Thousand Year Storm? We don't have. Don't know if we have enough stuff for thousand, like enough instants and sorceries for Thousand Year Storm. Yeah, we got a Mimi deck here. We're we're just trying to unmoor ego away all their stuff. That's the goal. I'm not killing any three mana thing that they play anyway. Well, maybe I will now. No, I probably shouldn't. Well, yeah, I could cast down. Cast down's not going to kill the four or five mana angels anyway. That lets me safely get Kefnet out here so we'd be able to copy on more Ego if we draw it. Next turn, we'll play Ral and start scrying for Ego. Lame. Alright, we'll get Kevnet back in the library. Ooh. I guess this cost this just costs more mana. We'll just get this in play. The nth power. Yep. Uh, I wonder what the weather's like on Ixalan. I mean honestly I like that land, but we'll just draw the Kefnet for next turn. Sea washes the dead ashore. Super gross and not my fault. So we're gonna try to start with this thing. Start with that thing so they don't get spirits. Whenever we kill stuff. <laughs> uh, Danger only makes field research more interesting. Dang it, I, I really just wanted to land. But I'm not I'm not ditching on Mordigo though. That's that's not what we're doing here. Hey Oslin, things are going good. And VGC, what's up? Now we don't have the mana for triple ego. But we'll we'll do single ego next turn, and then we'll be able to single ego, and then and be able to noxious grasp like ego grasp, and then the next turn triple ego or double ego, I guess. So should I just? Should I just name God's Willing? Really? Boo. Yeah, we're going to run it back at the 5 0. We had to play two games to get the kinks out. Uh, yeah, Kefnet's strong. Kefnet's a good one. Yeah. 
Yuck. Guess we get rid of Sulfur Falls. I guess I have enough black sources I can probably get rid of a watery grave. Hmm. Nah, I'll just keep the other watery grave. Hello. Uh oh. This could be over before it starts. Where are all the control decks? Yep, yeah, our opponent's a subscriber to the channel. I recognize this username playing against Ben and Donner during the sub battle streams. The fact that Militia Bugler doesn't do the bugle explorer sound makes me sad. Totally should. This afterlife creature, though, does give them another creature to be able to get these gutter bones back. But maybe they play something else, and I get to unmoor ego gutter bones. Look at on Mordigo. Coming in clutch. Give me those gutter bones. Gotta roll them bones. Triple priest. Alright, what else we got in here? Brought back. Okay. Alenda. Pilfering imp. Look at Unmord Ego being a good card. Alright, we're gonna need to draw some stuff to deal with all these priests. But like, one more sweeper. Another sweeper would be really nice. Or not. Always land. Yeah, we're yeah we'll be bringing in our legions ends from the sideboard for sure. Yeah, we got we got four sweepers left. Two cry, two soot. There's a cry. There you go. Thanks, Jelly. Jelly asked, "Where's cry?" And there you go. There it is. That's all you, Arc Jelly. Thanks for that that luck there. All right, now we need Ben and Donner to draw a bunch of lands for a few turns. 
Couple of turns of lands. Oh no, brought back? Do they draw do they draw bring brought back? Oh, but brought back doesn't work cause cause cry exiles. Yeah, we exiled. We good. We good. You can't bring stuff back from exile. No, not us draw land. And them draw Bugler, which is like the best card because that draws another thing. Yeah, what would a card be called if it was... Yeah, it was brought back from Exile. Brought back Exile Edition. Okay. Hmm. Stupid 2-3 Bugler. That would have been nice to have you earlier, Dragon God. Uh, I I don't Yeah, there's yeah, the Karn would get things that are exiled with the silver counter, but the other Karn with that, as far as artifacts are concerned, I don't think it gets anything that's exiled. Not much of an Unmored Ego matchup, but I think that getting rid of Gutter Bones is good, but I'm not sure if we really need Unmored Ego for anything else. Alright, we got our Dragon Gods. We're good to go. Now let's get... We gotta draw two more mana. No, not two more Dragon Gods. <laughs> Either have all the bolus or none of the bolus. No in between. Land.
Uh, this is just my playlist here on Spotify. And we need just we just need two more land. We need two more mana because we can mission briefing back the. Yeah, you know, we can we can briefing back the cry. We just don't have any lands. Last game we had all the lands. Okay, there's one. Yep, we are likely dead. I liked our opening hand, but we haven't really drawn things that helped us. We're going down to two here. Never mind, we're dead. <laughs> the only way for me to stay alive is to kill this priest of forgotten gods right now. And just hope that we have another Cry of the Carnarium here. We got, there's four Cry of the Carnariums in the deck. This is the only way to stay alive. And we got the three looks at it with the mission briefing, Surveil 2. So the first two were not it. We just got to hope that this is Cry. Nope. All right, deck did not help us out there. Very good discard spell. Getting our first cry of the Carnarium. All right, one and one. We're admittedly a little a little rough against aggro. I feel like we have a good sideboard against aggro. We did not draw very well our our, our one ego and you know three of our four nickel boluses and stuff. But hopefully we play against control deck. We still haven't seen a control deck yet. We have our janky deck trying to be control. Help us out here. Yeah, I really like two land search for Ascanta. Ascanta is awesome. But we're basically a four card hand here with the Ral, the Briefing, and the Nickel Bowl. It's not really doing very much. Ship it. Yeah, basically, if we would have just drawn the cards that we drew game game two, if we would have drawn those game one, and game, and if we would have drawn all the lands that we drew game one, game two, that would have helped us out a lot more. This avatar is with the, uh, it's with these sleeves also. Wow, turn two war boss on the play. Give me a break. It's with some package. I don't remember what it's called. Whatever the amass things are called. I guess Eternal Army. That sounds like it is. That sounds like what it is. Ah, it's a beautiful day for chaos. I was raised by wolves. 
Though, they might have also just been big dogs. Just taking lethal there. This has not been a lucky day for us. <laughs> has not been at all. Okay, well, we'll get these things in. Arclight Phoenix is going to be tough. Maybe they're not playing Arclight Phoenix. Yeah, they had a turn four kill. We didn't even get to Ritual of Sit and we were already dead. The sideboard sideboard's taking more time than the actual game was. Why is modern not on arena? Because there are just there are too many cards to program, too many super weird interactions also with all the cards and it's just not something that I don't think Wizards wants to do is try to get all those things get all those tens of thousands of cards on Arena and all the, the weird interactions and everything Let's see. No, no, there, there are no cards with banding in Modern. They're curving out nicely again. I'm really sad we didn't get to play against a control deck and get to do stuff with Onward Ego. We have 26 lands in the deck. This, that's two matches in a row of us not being able to hit land drops and you know not drawing any lands and everything. Two lands, kept two lander once, three lander another time, and just don't draw any lands. So, I mean, obviously we're we're a jank. This is definitely a jank deck, you know, with all the, the unmoored egos. But we faced zero good unmoored ego matchups in two leagues, and so that's really unfortunate. We played against like all control yesterday. Remember us playing against. Uh, 
Esper Control, five out of six matches yesterday. That's like exactly what we want to be playing against. Not today, though. So, didn't get to do our thing. That's that's magic. All right, that's Kirk's Ego, though. I uh, hope you enjoyed the deck if you're watching it later on YouTube. But thanks so much for watching. Grixis Ego here, and I will see you for the next video.